Hi there, Jimmy Townsend. This is my uh, newly remodeled uh, alternate uh, energy uh, generator. Um, the idea behind it is that you can um, generate electricity from uh, a, a lot of different things. Um, I just uh, wanted to make a generator as cheaply as I possibly could out of things that I found uh, laying around. Um, the idea behind it being that um, you might not have a choice and you might not have the money or whatever, but you still uh, uh, need to uh, make something of uh, useful utility. Um, I did make a bicycle uh, generator, but I used a uh, alternator out of a, out of a car, but it just took too much energy in order to um, produce energy with it. So what I ended up doing is just using a couple of uh, um, little 12-volt uh, uh, motors. So I'll give you uh, a quick uh, look around the system, and then I'll uh, show you a schematic and explain it, and then show you how the whole thing works. So here is the... Um, uh, little um, exercise bike that we picked up and you can see that I've just taken a um, piece of inner tube and stretched it around the wheel. I've got uh, two uh, uh, 12 volt uh, fan motors in there. Um, what you need to do is um, take a look at the wheels that I've got on there. This uh, one larger wheel um, uh, generates uh, 6 volts. That smaller wheel there generates um, 12 volts. And you'll see that I've got a schematic of uh, the two different ones on there. So we've got uh, two little 12-volt uh, uh, um, motors. I picked those up at uh, Princess Auto Parts uh, for $3 each. This is a uh, deep cycle 12-volt uh, um, uh, battery. Uh, for a good one of those, you'll probably pay $50 or something like that at Walmart. There is a uh, 110 volt um, power uh, inverter. Here's a uh, um, a charger for the uh, 12 volt battery that I can plug into the wall, so I can uh, charge the battery uh, in the wall anytime that I I do have uh, electricity. And um, as you can see, it's just a little uh, exercise um, bike. Here's the uh, uh, schematic for it. You can see I've got a positive and a negative. Now, whenever you're dealing with uh, 12 volt and um, uh, 110 volt and uh, uh, electricity, that's what you have is a um, positive and a, a negative. So there you saw the two motors. Notice that motor two, now this was a motor with the larger wheel. If you don't get the right voltage output for the uh, energy that you're putting out uh, on your um, bicycle generator, just change the uh, size of the wheel on the motor until you get the right output that you want. Okay, so this puts out 6 volt. You can notice that I've got this fan on there, and I've got a uh, light on there. The other motor is hooked up to the battery, so I can charge that 12 volt battery just by um, pedaling the uh, bicycle generator. Um, this, What this means is as soon as I get on the bicycle and I start pedaling, I've got light. So I can use this light to read at night, and it takes very little energy in order to uh, run this thing, and that's the idea behind it. I want to produce as much energy as I can for as little energy as I can possibly uh, uh, output. So here's the schematic of the other uh, way that I've got it wired together for the 12 volt system. Now, as you saw, I um, have a positive and negative. So all I did is I screwed a couple pieces of metal on there to put my wires into to uh, make very rudimentary um, systems to uh, show people how it works. There's my 110 volt uh, output from my 12 volt battery. If I flick that switch, I'll have 110 in order to um, run my uh, mix master or anything else that I have 110 volt. I've also got a tiny little um, uh, washing machine and I can uh, run that, uh, which is so a uh, space age version of uh, Mary Ann's um, uh, a clothes washer from uh, uh, Gilligan's Island. So you can see the very simple schematic that I've used. So whenever you're putting this together, just remember that you have a positive and a negative uh, um, uh, side on uh, your battery. So that's all you look for. The positive is going to be a plus, and the negative is going to be a minus. So you put your uh, uh, stuff together like that. Whenever you wire in your uh, light switches, make sure that um, uh, you get it in one uh, part of the line. So all that it's doing is just making a connection. You can kind of look at wiring just like um, 
uh, plumbing. Say if you can envisage in your mind that you're going to turn a motor using uh, water power and you need to put a pipe up there to get water up there to that motor so that you can spin something and then you need to get the water back out. Well, that's really all you're doing with uh, wiring as well, right? You're just getting the energy to the device and then you're getting it uh, back out. So Judith is going to demonstrate um, uh, how easy it is to start uh, generating electricity if you want to start uh, uh, pedaling, Judith, and you can, uh, you can notice Oh, Galena is getting uh, wrapped up here in my cords. You notice that as soon as she starts pedaling, the uh, fan goes on and the light goes on. And the light is already generating enough light that you can read by it. So, but just by doing that, you can sit there and you can read your uh, a, a book whenever you don't have any electricity available or whatever, or if you need emergency lighting or something like that. Now, you'll notice that I have the um, uh, switch is already on, and Judith is also. Um, putting out uh, around uh, just about 12 volts of electricity. Now we can make use of that electricity. If I click on this, we can see that that drops down very little. Well, what that actually did was switch on this LED light over here. So if you can get 12 volt LED lights, you're gonna save a lot of energy because they take very little energy to light up. So this is the six volt uh, uh, light. This is actually a 12 volt light, but that motor there has got a larger wheel on it, so it's only putting out six volts. The other motor, which is the exact same motor, has a smaller wheel, so it's putting out 12 volts. Now we're gonna use the 12 volts for these lights up here as well. You can see that it puts on these two lights. So they're brighter than this one as well because they've got 12 volts of electricity going into them. And if I wanna have a lot more light, and do uh, some uh, intricate work, I can put that on. Now, you'll probably heard, as soon as I put that on, that motor um, uh, started taking a lot more energy in order to uh, energize it. So if I pull this bulb out, that's a fairly large bulb, you'll notice that it doesn't take as much energy to, energy to spin the motor. <coughs> so that's why this little electrical tester is very good to show you how much energy you're using. And of course, you're sitting there pedaling away on the uh, bicycle generator, so you know how much energy it takes and what's comfortable. And the nice thing is that you want it to be comfortable whenever you're generating the electricity that you need in order to read or whatever. Okay, so it takes a little bit more energy if you want to use this 12 volt energy for something else. So we've got our reading light there. Now you can see we're putting out 13 volts of uh, electricity. So if we s switch on the battery over here, you'll have heard that the motor um, uh, is doing a little bit more work now and the voltage dropped down to just above what the voltage is of the uh, battery. So that indicates that the motor now is charging the battery. So that's the nice thing about it is you'll be able to charge a battery with a moderate amount of work on here. So if we switch on that 110 volt uh, inverter over there, so now the um, uh, bicycle generator and the battery are putting out 110 volts of electricity. If we switch that on, we can run our mix master and you can run it on all of the settings. Switch it right up to 10. Yeah, so you can see that uh, you've got uh, 110 volt completely uh, independent of uh, any sort of power grid system just by putting out a little bit of uh, energy. So if you switch that off and then you switch off the 110 volt inverter on the side, now what you're doing is you're um, generating electricity to put back into the battery. So one of the things that you want to remember is whenever you stop um, uh, pedaling, the first thing that you want to do is shut off the uh, motor because you don't want the battery to be going back to the motor. So now all of the uh, energy from there, you notice that uh, it's a lot easier to pedal. You can hear that the motor is not under a load and so that 12 volts of energy isn't being used for anything and um, the 6 volts of energy is being used for uh, the cooling fan and also for the um, for the lights. So I hope you uh, found this to be a uh, useful uh, demonstration of um, how you can make your own little uh, bicycle uh, uh, generator. Just get yourself a couple little 12-volt uh, uh, DC uh, motors. Remember that how much energy you're going to output from them is dependent on the size of the wheel that you've got on the shaft there. And just remember 
that everything is just positive and negative and you can kind of look at it the whole system just like it's a, uh, um, a, a little water system if that allows you to envisage it a little bit uh, uh, easier so you know just take your electrical wire go from positive all the way around just lead it back onto uh, the battery and uh, you'll make out uh, just fine have fun with it love you all peace eh take care